Hello everybody, and welcome back to the new Overrealm version 2.0. Alright guys, since the last episode, um, I haven't upgraded my house. <laughs> I guess I did, put an anvil. Um, but I have been busy running over and doing the community mine. I'm trying to get this set up for uh, when people start to come onto the server. So I built a little box. Uh, but before we head over there, I got something else that I've uh, decided to incorporate into this uh, world here. And uh, you can see there's a sign over there. Do not dig here. Command blocks for one person sleeping here. Oh, I'm gonna break the ladder. I'll show you guys what I did down here though. So basically what this is is a command block setup with uh, different commands that are actually, I don't even know if I'll be able to access it because I'm not in creative. Nope. They'll uh, basically stay there. Each one of these blocks though has a command in it that when there is a number of people on the server, you'll be able to basically um, you'll be able to sleep one person at a time. So rather than going, hey, can you get into a bed? Hey, can you get into a bed? Can you, hey, hey, hey. You don't need to do that. If it's dark out and you want it to be light, one person climbs into bed and that's it. You're sleeping. So I decided to implement that because uh, not everybody always carries a bed around with them. Somebody might be down here. Uh, somebody might be in uh, way off in another 10,000 blocks away. So to keep it simple, say, um, you know, does anybody need it to be night? No, one person goes to bed and then it automatically switches it to day. You don't have to worry about everybody climbing into bed. So what I've been working on since the wee hours of the morning is I've uh, dug out a community mine. And as I was doing this, I came down and saw this little cave, which I was like, ooh, cave. And, uh, I'm, you know, I come over here fighting some mobs, and there's a whole bunch of uh, zombies. So I blocked them all off and started killing them. But then they started coming from over here. So, lo and behold, I found a zombie spawner. So in today's episode, what I'm going to do is do... Um, just a little quick shot of how I'm actually going to do this. And basically what it is, it's a real simple, simple water drop. But there's one catch. If you see the Y value there at 47, you have to be at, mm, I'm going to say probably 30, 32 or higher. Because you're going to have to dig straight down 23 blocks from... Uh, let's see, three underneath this. So, I, okay, 35 you'll have to be is where the spawner level should be at. So, what you're going to do is dig out a 9x9 nine nine room. So, you're going to go two off this way because you already got two here. And there's your fifth one. And you're going to go two over this way. And you got one, two, three. You need one more there. And one, two, three. One more that way. So, you're going to clear out that room that size and dig this down this entire room down three all underneath the spawner all right so what i'm going to do is i'm going to start doing that and i'll bring you guys back once i have that completed i'll see you in a few seconds guys okay so i've got the room dug out now you can see we're uh, nine blocks that way by nine blocks that way and uh, once you got it cleared out you can stack jump or you can do this beforehand if you want but it's got to be uh, three blocks high to the ceiling and you put three blocks above the spawner and that way nothing can spawn on top of it so now what you're gonna do and I'm gonna have to go run and get is um, get four buckets of water and yeah, there's a lovely little creeper I hate these guys 
Ah. Oh, there goes my barrier. <laughs> Alright. So I'm going to go grab these uh, buckets. I got them uh, just down the bottom here. And uh, when I come back, we'll uh, show you how to place the water. And then we'll start digging straight down. See you in a few. Alright guys, so I've got the uh, the buckets of water now. Alright. So now for the placement of these, uh, it's actually going to show you where you're going to dig. I brought an extra one just in case. I can't remember if I'm going to need it. So, <laughs> Place one in that corner. One in that corner. One in that one. And lastly in that corner. You should be left with one square in the center. Now, as I was digging out this room, uh, I don't know if you want to call it this lucky or unlucky. I'm going to say unlucky because uh, I don't think it's going to work out in my favor. Underneath here is actually a ravine. So I'm going to just be careful. What I might do is use the uh, water as a safety net. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> I guess the water didn't save me there. Alright, well at least I don't have my bed that far. Uh, I didn't actually have my bed. I was using it to uh, find the spawn point so I could put in the, uh, the bed blocks. Alright, so let's find out... Uh, where we got blown up and where all my stuff is because uh, I had all my diamond uh, tools on me and I definitely don't want to lose those. I hope they didn't end up in the lava at the bottom. If they did, it's alright though. Oh, too far. Okay, so we'll head down there and uh, grab all our tools again. And then I'll continue with a little bit of a tutorial. But like I said, I kind of got unlucky like I was just telling you guys. Well, there's some of my stuff. Oh, you're kidding me. Wow. Alright, I'll tell you what, guys. After this, this uh, I get all my stuff back, I'll bring you guys back, and hopefully we'll have a way down a little bit safer that's not so much uh, filled with creepers. I'll see you in a few. Alright, guys. So I went and got the, um, the buckets and put the water in. And... Um, like I was saying, uh, or I think I said that there, I might have been a little unlucky having underneath here a uh, a ravine, and it is and it isn't lucky. I mean, it was uh, unlucky at first because I went uh, I went <laughs> and dug the hole and was using the water as a guide to get me down. I hit the first layer and I got blown up by a creeper. And half of my stuff went with the water down into the lava, and I lost it. So I've lost all my armor, uh, an enchanted diamond axe, uh, enchanted shovel, pickaxe. Uh, thank goodness it wasn't my Fortune 3 pickaxe. I just got that today. So, um, But anyways, what you need is four buckets of water. Put one in the corner, one in the other corner. One in that corner, and one in that corner. And if you've dug out a 9x9 nine nine room, what it's going to leave you with is that one wide opening right there. So what you do in that case is you dig straight down 23 blocks, and from there, I'll show you. Um, tell you what, I should be able to... I put a hopper in the bottom there so these guys won't be able to get me because uh, where we are
All right. So I'll head down and I'll show you where the uh, setup is for that. Thank goodness these aren't uh, skeletons. They'd be shooting me like crazy by now. And then you block the whole thing off. You want it to be pitch black in there. Now what I've done is I've dug a hole up from where the 23 blocks down is. So I was at block 43 or 44. So you can see here, they're dropping down here. And they're going to be a one or a two hit kill, uh, depending if they have armor or not. Now you don't have to put the hopper in here if you don't just raise that block up one higher. I put that in there so what happens, put into this chest, gets sucked into that hopper and everything gets put into this chest here. That will include armor and stuff like that that they're holding as well. So the only, I guess, downside to this is um, in order for you to get more to spawn, you have to be back up the top. So it's more of an AFK farm. You stock up all your zombies and then you come down here, beat them all up and get all your experience and uh, any kind of drops that you have. Oh uh, yeah, I knew I had a stair in here for a reason. There. So that's the essential setup for that. And all I did is once you've dug down from the very center of there, you dig out, you go eight blocks out, and then put your ladder up. You can do seven. As long as you're seven blocks out, and then what you can do is um, you can dig straight up to the, um, to the surface if you wanted to. And that way at least you'll have uh, a spot to... Uh, come straight down because I have the mine just over here in the corner I'm gonna leave this the way it is and uh, right now this would be your AFK spot so what I would probably do is just block this off and put a doorway in or um, just a dirt door so that you can block yourself in here without getting killed you AFK for a little bit and if you were to poke open think this one yeah, you can see that the spawner's working. You got the zombies there. You took my block, but... Um, so they spawn away, and then all you do, again, drop down here after you've AFK'd for a while. And then head down. This whole thing took me maybe 15 minutes to build. Uh, the toughest part was the uh, this part here. I had to stack jump everything because, the, like I said, the... You can sort of see the ravine down in between the holes there. And there's the lava right there down the bottom where I lost all my stuff. So that was a little bit tougher. If you've got solid ground, all you do is dig a two wide hole, stand on the high point while you dig down, and then drop into this one, dig out those. That way you don't drop into lava. And uh, yeah, that's it. So what I'm gonna do is I'll uh, I'll take it for a little tour. Since the last video, a few things have changed. Um, I stopped dying as much until this episode. Uh, <laughs> I already died twice. Um, the second time I went down to gather all my stuff, I picked up a uh, pickaxe, my sword, uh, another pickaxe, and my axe, and some of the armor. And then a second creeper came along and blew me up again. And that's how I ended up losing everything except for the uh, pickaxe and the shovel. So, yeah, a little crappy, but no big deal. With the big mine that we have down there now, um, well, actually, I'll show you. The mine is just a mine. It's uh, a 2 by 2 hole that goes all the way down. And oh, at the very bottom on level 12, just have branches going out in each direction. I uh, got a bunch of furnaces down there, so basically you can start branching out all across the entire map. So what we have here, this is uh, Tapkin's place. He's um, started to build this massive home of his. I'm going to get a better vantage point. So you can see the design that he's going with there. Looks really nice so far. It's going to be a really big house as well. He's, oh, he's got a horse. Yeah, right on. Yeah, and a pet skeleton over there. So, yeah, he's been busy, and, uh, you know, like I said, I came on here because I basically wanted to uh, 
start getting things set up for when people come on the server so that it's uh, somewhat ready. Uh, <laughs> my first inclination was to do what I always do and start some sort of a farm. Uh, but I want to wait for the people to come onto the server. That way, um, you know, if they want me to, I can work with them, show them how to do certain farms and stuff like that. So, again, if it's something you're interested in, just send me a message here on uh, YouTube and we can set it up to be $15 for six months. And, uh, you know, if I end up getting 10 people on the server, um, I'd like to set something up where we do like uh, we can build and or design and build a PvP arena uh, anywhere it doesn't matter where build a PvP arena and have like a battle royale and the winner will take home like a armor set or an enchanted sword or you know stack of diamonds or something like that so uh, I think we can make uh, make this whole thing quite a bit quite a bit of fun, you know, just kind of like a nice little community where everybody is doing things together and chipping in. And uh, I sort of got this idea from Doc M. He had a, a realm server where he had a competition. Uh, I don't want to make this a competition, but they had like a sort of like a build off competition where you could uh, come in and either build a house or dig a cave or do a redstone contraption and all that kind of stuff. thought it was really cool and uh, you know it kind of inspired me to get uh, I've had the realm server now for uh, about four months and uh, it's nice having the option of having three worlds. There's also mini games maps that you can pull up so you're not just limited to the one map if you uh, go hey I want to have a creative map then uh, something where anybody who's OP'd would be able to uh, have access to those three and would be able to you know transfer between the three worlds or even turn it on to mini games or adventure maps and the whole group of them could go on and do different things so uh, like I said I think it's a really good idea and uh, I'm going to keep updating you guys on the progress and the certain things that I'm building. I do want to get a few things set up and, you know, like uh, villager breeding. I want to bring that over to here, but this is the basics of the mine. I just dug out this one pathway here, um, gathered up a few resources so I could get myself a little further ahead. And, you know, so you dig down about 50, 100 blocks and then you move over to the third one, dig down that kind of thing so right now we're on level 12 and just got a bunch of goodies and stuff that I've kind of gathered up and some armor that I found actually it's a good idea I'll throw that on myself right now since I'm not wearing any there we go at least I got some form of protection so anyways guys that's just a quick little updated episode for you guys uh, just to show you that things are progressing uh, be sure to check out the other single player that I'm doing it's the one chillcraft that's got some really big news coming up in uh, another week, actually, uh, from yesterday. So you got six days left before the big news. Should be January 2nd, I believe. And you guys will have uh, a really big episode. There's going to be, I won't make it too long, but I'm making about a half hour episode. It's going to show you everything that I've done in, in it for the week. And the one secret project that I've been working on since the beginning. Uh, that will be nearing completion. So look forward to that there. And I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video. So have yourself an amazing day, and we will see you next time. Take care, guys. Yeah.